We're here at Broadbeach Bowling Club on the Gold Coast during the Australian Jackaroos Women's Selection Camp and we caught up with national coach Steve Glasson. Steve, you're in the middle of a selection camp here on the Gold Coast for the Australian women's team. Without giving away too many trade secret, secrets, tell us about what's going on. Well, it's fantastic, Aiden, for starters to be back here on the Gold Coast. It's the, the mecca of bowls for the next uh, five years or so with Commonwealth Games, Asia Pacific's World Bowl. So it's great to be back here, and it's particularly at Broadbeach, the host venue for the 2018 Broadbeach Commonwealth Games. Uh, we've got a, a, an elite group here of, uh, of young champions uh, coming through the field. We've got a great mix of youth and, of course, experience here, um, taking part in a, in a very competitive camp. Uh, they're really being put under a lot of duress uh, for about four days, so uh, they're sleeping well at night, but wonderful to see that really great mix of youth and experience, and hopefully it all goes well for uh, their selections, not only in the immediate future, but also long term. And Tugan Bowls Club will play a similarly important role when it hosts the men's selection camp before the Australian Open in June. Yeah, so we're meeting there just before the Aussie Open, the 10th to the 12th of June at, at Tugan. Uh, and another great part of that camp will be the fact that uh, Hong Kong's coming out for the Australian Open. So we're going to have a test series on uh, on the 11th of June just beforehand with Hong Kong. So that's exciting as well. And again, the boys uh, will be put through their uh, the rigours of, uh, of a competitive camp. So uh, again, ultimately to come up with uh, two male and female squads for the next sort of little period of time leading up to World Bowls in New Zealand uh, to, to pick the best of the best from that. And as you mentioned, the Gold Coast region is going to be a, play a really critical role for the sport of bowls in the next five or so years. It must be pleasing in your position as a national coach to know that so many national and international competitions will be hitting these world-renowned greens. Absolutely. I mean, you can't beat a home ground advantage. That's that's uh, assured, and I think Adelaide proves that as an example. So uh, it, it's a great bonus for us. I mean, it's going to be very tough again because uh, we've got some really wonderful opposition throughout the world. Um, but, you know, to be here, Gold Coast is a fantastic venue. There's no doubt about it. And, and a Apart from the, the facilities the clubs offer, you know, the, the magnificent greens, they're world class, but but the lifestyle itself, it's, uh, it's a relaxed environment. I mean, there's heaps of accommodation, there's loads of restaurants, so people wanting to come here and experience people, elite players play, there's all this other stuff going on as well, so, and, uh, and it makes our life uh, quite pleasant as well. And you made an exciting announcement in relation to the Australian Jackaroos squad recently appointing National Training Centre coach for New South Wales and ACT, Gary Willis, as your assistant national coach? Yeah, so a uh, wonderful initiative, really. Um, all part of the succession planning. I mean, we've been blessed for about four years to have the the, the guru of coaching, I suppose, in Robbie Dobbins. Um, uh, I think he was assistant coach officially, but uh, I think I was, you know. So, um, But, you know, to have his involvement, and then, um, you know, as part of the succession planning, Robbie's uh, touring the world these days and loving life, and, and we miss him. But uh, to have Gary step into that role, uh, it's a great coup for us. I mean, he's a, uh, a renowned coach in his own right. He's a former international. Uh, he's got great respect from and players and staff alike. So I'm really delighted, and he's fitted in really well into that, into that role. He brings a, a wealth of knowledge and experience to the sport at the national level, but it, it must be really beneficial for the players, particularly these female players, as well as yourself in the HP team. Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, there's there's a, a strong mix from New South Wales as well. And, and whilst that might sound like a bit of a conflict, it's not Gary's, um, you know, he's one-eyed towards the, the big target. So, but yeah, as you say, I mean, the experience that he brings to the program, uh, I think just his nature. I mean, he's a very approachable guy. The players love to sit down and have a yak with him and they'll talk about anything from bowls to careers to family planning, whatever the case may be. So, um, you know, it takes a lot of heat off me as well. And uh, and he's just loving it. I mean, he just, we can't stop him this week. He's involved in everything and uh, he's going to have to get some sleep at some stage, but uh, we'll worry about that next week. The announcement of the Australian Jack Root squad for 2015-16 will take place after the Australian Open. How important is that $225,000 prize money event to your process? Oh, it's massive. I mean, it's the biggest event in the world. Um, so it's great to come up here to uh, to the lovely Gold Coast. Uh, massive prize money. I mean, that's uh, well and truly advertised. But um, because it's these greens, it's, it's where everything is going to happen over the next few years. Uh, it's huge. So obviously, we're going to be really watching very carefully what happens at the Australian Open. That's why we elected not to pick any squads after camp because there's this wonderful opportunity in a competitive environment at the Aussie Open. We've got some of the best players in the world competing to see how our guys line up form-wise. Um, and, and look, for those that don't cut the, the mustard, so to speak, at the end of the Aussie Open, uh, I can assure you they'll be right in the mix because, we, as I say, we've got a great mix of young talent coming through that uh, that will be you know international representatives in the future. So with that, the Aussie Open is huge for us. Well, good luck with the camp and the rest of selecting the next batch of Australian stars. Thanks, Aidan. Really appreciate it. Thank you.